In this tutorial, we're going to be going over how we can create our package.json file. Now, what the package.json file is responsible for is basically holding all our metadata for our project. Metadata being the name of the project, the version number, etc. So to get started, what we're going to use is called the node package manager. So I'm just going to type npm and then I'm going to type init, which means initialize. I hit enter. And you can see that we get a bunch of jargon. So what do we want to name the package? By default is going to be called the name of the folder that you're currently in. So up here you can see Node.js underscore tutorial. And it says the default will be Node.js slash tutorial. So I could just hit enter. That's fine with me. The version number 1.0.0. .0. That's okay description so what is this package about what is your project about and we're just gonna say tutorial because that's all we're using it for and then the entry point is pretty important and it lets us know which file should be used to start our node application so for example, if I was making a website and I upload it to a server, it will let the server know that that was our entry point to our application. Test command, let's ignore that for now. Hit enter, git repository is pretty self-explanatory. It's gonna be your git URL. Hit enter, keywords, we're going to leave that blank as well. Author, go ahead and write down your name. License ISC is fine by me. Then it's going to say, is this okay? And we're just going to say, yeah, that's fine. So. You might think that nothing has happened, but if I hit control B, you can see that we have our package.json file created. And if I take a look at this, open it up, you can see that package.json is just a JSON file and it has our configuration settings. So the name, the version, description of our application, the entry point, scripts, author, and license. And basically in the next tutorial, what we're going to end up doing is actually going out and installing external packages and including them within our own project.